What you're looking at is my 1999 Dodge Ram 1500 pickup truck. It's a four-wheel drive. I've had this truck probably since it was about two years old, maybe. So we've had it for a long time. What I'd like to show you, though, is the modification that uh, I had done to it. And what we decided to do is turn the back seat into a sleeper berth like you have in a tractor trailer. You know, I drive trucks, I teach uh, courses on trucking, write books on trucking and other topics. And I just thought it would be fun to, to have a, a small sleeper berth in a pickup truck to see if we could uh, do it and see if it would work. So what we did is um, we had the back bulkhead modified, a custom panel put into it that gives it a little bit more space. Had the um, supports for what was the rear seat cut down so that it lays flat, so it's it's uh, level and not at an angle like a seat. And uh, by having that back bulkhead modified, it gives a few more inches back there to make it just wide enough for me to lay down on. And I designed this for myself. Now it might, you know, other people might not uh, be comfortable in it or want to sleep in that, but um, you know, I'm I'm about six three between six three and six four. And uh, when I when I sleep, I kind of tend to lay on my side and pull my feet in a little bit. That little hole at the at the foot end of it, it's just enough room for me to tuck my toes in there. And there's another one. I can get the camera in the right place. I don't know if I am or not, but uh, so you can get your uh, just a little bit extra room for your head. Not that you can put your head all the way up in there, but enough to get a little bit of extra space. Oh, let me pull a seat out of the way. Put a fan down here on the end. That's a it's a really nice fan. It swivels up and down and uh, left and right. Has multiple speeds on it. And um, let's see if we can get this seat to slide. Put a set of curtains in here. I have to excuse the glare from the sun. Every time I want to do this video, it's either uh, raining or something else is not right. I decided I'm just going to shoot the video today and the heck with it. It turns out however it turns out. I'm going to stick it on YouTube anyway. Um, put a track in the overhead and a set of curtains. There's a curtain on each side. It slides out so that they meet in the middle. I need to put some Velcro so I can hook them together. And ultimately, eventually, I'm going to put a, I've got a reading light. I've already ran the wires for it. That's going to go right there. It's actually going to bolt to that old seat belt uh, bolt piece of wood that goes on here, and the light is going to be mounted to that. I haven't put that in there yet. And <clears throat> there's a little bulkhead that's been made on the front. Now, I didn't do this work. Uh, I had a guy that did the interior for me that did it for me. He did a heck of a good job. And um, originally, I told him it would make a plywood base, and he thought he could modify it. So, what he did is he cut those brackets down. And did a really nice job on that. Welded them back together and, and made it so that this seat would lay flat. And then he built this bulkhead and carpeted the inside of that compartment. So he's still got a, a storage compartment down there. The whole small stuff. You're not going to put anything real big into it. But uh, that's about it for that part for the time being. And I'll also show you in the front. And you have to excuse the wires. That's a CB radio. And uh, like I said, excuse the wires, it's not permanently mounted in here. Eventually, I'm going to build a console to replace this center section of the seat, which will house the radio and some other things I'm going to put in here. But these, uh, if you know anything about Dodge Rams, particularly older ones, it's very common for that plastic hinge assembly that's original to this cup holder, is what that is down there, to break so that that thing no longer functions. Well, mine eventually broke. And I decided just to take some wire and some uh, fittings and crimpers, put a wire on each side of it to hold that cup holder level, basically, and then just drill through it and put the CB there. So it works for me, and it works for my purposes for the time being. So that's it. Not a whole lot to this video. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, tell me what you think. Sleeper berth in a pickup truck. And I'll be doing some other videos on this truck later on, too. Thanks a lot for watching, and have a great day.